Hi YouTube, today I just want to tell you about why is the Phantom Menace the best prequel in the prequel trilogy. I just think, I know the Force is long dead, but I think Phantom Menace is still really good, has great characters, great storyline, great locations. Great sp special effects and the pod race is a really good, it's a really great concept for the prequels. I think that the best Anakin Skywalker has to be the 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 Phantom Menace because he's really good. Okay. I know I say, why are the prequels all, all bad? But I don't, I just do not think they are. But The Phantom Menace is really good. It's a great storyline. And it's the second movie that George Lucas directed. We should, we, we, we should give him some credit because he, because he created, because he created Star Wars. He just does a great job. For making these great movies. Okay, so you should, you should go watch The Phantom Menace. I know they say the Jar Jar Bangs. It's like a big fan favorite. I know some say he's, he's not, but some think that, that, that they are. But it's still, he's still a great character. And I still love the other characters like Obi Wan, Qui Gon, Padme. And Anakin. But this is the first movie that has introduced to us. Like how Anakin met Padme, Obi Wan's master, Qui Gon, and he had to defeat Darth Maul. Darth Maul is one of the best villains in, the, in this movie. So cool. He's. I love the. I think all. The light, I like. I love all the action scenes. The funny scenes are great and funny. With Jar Jar Banks, it's funny. But he's. But this movie is really good. You should go watch the Phantom Menace. I know it does not age really well, but it's still a great movie. So that's my review. What I think of the Phantom Menace.